Hello my gorgeous friends on the internet. So in the previous video we added the uh, get tax to uh, we register the get tax provider to the providers, okay? To the list of providers. So now I'm going to show you us how to retrieve those data and display them here, okay? So we actually created this one as well, okay? So what I'll do, I'll go to the home page and this is actually the list and uh, where we want to display the items, okay? So what I'll do now, just I'm just going to comment this and let it just be as if we have an empty list. Okay. All right. So the first thing to actually avoid overfetching, I actually create a variable here, which is bool, to check if it's fetched. Initially, I'll set it to false, okay, to avoid the GraphQL from fetching continuous, continuously, continuously, continuously. So we we'll need to remove that. And uh, yeah, we go with that. And then secondly, I will, I will, I will, I will. I'm going to wrap it with this uh, gesture, this custom screw controller, uh, because I want to add more like a refresh indicator, okay? So what I'll do, I'll just wrap this stuff with a size boss and then change it to a refresh indicator. And refresh. Just return a simple feature builder there first. Yeah, a simple feature builder. Uh, feature the delete, sorry. With a duration of two three seconds. And then you'll leave it that way. Yeah. And uh, so we need to return. All right. So we can swipe to refresh, I think it should show, okay? So we're gonna do some work there. But, but for now, let's just uh, wrap this stuff with a consumer widget. I'm wrapping it here because normally I'm supposed to wrap it here, but I'm wrapping it here because we need to get the provider as well from this gesture indicator, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to wrap it with this gesture detector indicator. Remove this, remember I told you I use stream builder often, so use uh, this. And then you put your get uh, tax provider. Import this one as well. There should be some more errors. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can return child. So we can call this one a uh, tax. More like we need to see to view it from there. So what I'll do here now, once whenever we open this page for the first time, I need to check if uh, the is fetched. Remember the variable I created here. So I need to fetch this stuff once. Okay. So if it's fetched, it's equal to uh, force. Then we want to fetch new data. Fetch the data, okay? Else, uh, we don't want to do anything. So it's going to fetch the data. And once it fetches the data, we are going to uh, set is fetched to force. Yeah, we are going to set is fetched to force, okay? So I'm just going to do it this way and create a method here. Is fetched equal to true, sorry. So if it's to fetch new data, but if it's false, it's going to fetch new data. So it will only be false whenever we come, we close and open this page again. So what I'll do here, and I just to call tax dot get tax, okay? As simple as that, it will get the tax from us. So we need, we need to show we need we need to be sure of the data that he's returning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to return uh, the data here. So just print. Okay, so issues. Oh, okay, just print data. Okay, get to do. Okay, so I just want to be sure that it prints out something. Okay, set state call during the okay issues issues. I'm trying to get something, so I'm not supposed to call this notify listener here. So I'm just going to remove this stuff. Okay, we don't need that. Yeah, to fix that error, we don't need that. Okay, and uh, no, don't worry, don't worry. Those ones will be fixed. Let's just do a hot restart here. <laughs> and there will be fixes that are just minor issues, so don't really pay attention to them. So I'm just going to do a hot restart and you can see the data has been fetched 
tax name query to get to do's. Yeah, we got the, all the data fetched successfully. So let me be sure that this one is actually returning data. So what I'll do, I'll go to my home page. So you can see it only returns it to two times. Okay, but assuming I didn't put this stuff now to just keep printing, it will just keep printing this stuff continuously. So let me try it with you guys. Let's just test this. If I do a hot twist, you see that the graph query will keep calling, like the consumer will keep calling the stuff to keep uh, fetching the new data, fetching the new data. Two, three, four, five. You can see the count is re increasing, which is not a good practice. It can actually slow down our, our, our application. So it's best you do it this way, okay? So it only fetches once and then it stops. Mm, it has stopped there now, so it's not going on again. Then, once we call our refresh indicator, it calls the same thing, which is task.get tax. Okay, it will just refresh the whole data and get a new tax for Rox. Okay, so now, next me, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, check here. I, I will check if uh, if the task.get response data dot is empty. Uh, let's say if is equal to yeah if it's empty i'll just return uh i hope i'm doing the right thing here okay so i'm not supposed to put this yeah Okay, yeah, I'm not supposed to put this stuff. So if it's empty, I'll just say uh, no to do found. So by default, I don't need to see this tax. By default, I don't need to see this no to do tax, no to do found. But if I say if it's not empty, that means there's a data in it. So let's see. No to do found. Awesome. Awesome. So we're actually getting the data uh, one after the other. Then else, if response that is empty, we don't know to do found. And then I can now return this, which is the expanded widget. And the length is going to be the length of the to-do. So just say task.getResponse data uh, dot length, like so save it and you should see multiple stuffs here right so these are all the data that was added to the db okay all right so this is it you can see this stuff now is hiding so we need to fix that real quick so what i'll do is just to add a simple size box here with a height of 50 oops that's plenty okay save it i just hope it goes up Okay, now we see the space, the space, you can see, we can see the items, so there's space now, they are not hiding. Alright, so we are good to go, and I need to display those items one after the other, so what I need to do is to get uh, the list, so I just call this one data, equal to uh, task.getResponse list, response data, and call the index, okay, like so, and then I can call this to be data and it's going to be tax right yeah tax because if you look here now we have tax okay which is the name so i just hope it doesn't throw error awesome we have watch clothes we have uh the hello world and uh, so let's try to add a new item to see we quick and uh, yeah just add gibberish save it and we just hope this one works now it has been added and let's go back to our code go down it's not showing so what we do we just to call like refresh the page refresh it real quick and then screw down you can see we have it as the last item here hooray we got it so i showed you guys how to use a uh, consumer to fetch the widgets and refresh indicator to actually refresh the new item all right cool 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 this is getting interesting uh, that's getting interesting. Then the to-do time, uh, I don't, this is actually a date time. You can use your int package to actually format it. But if we have time, I think we, are, can, we can also format that as well. 
so let me add the time added make sure it's the same as this which is time added okay and it's actually a value is not a const value so this is actually a time p a time date time so it will be able to fit in here so i'll convert it to a string okay so that we'll be able to uh, add it there all right then save it we should have the time i think it should be long yeah awesome so we have it and let me see maybe this uh cycle lab progress indicator we can add the id of each of those items so we can add data and the id is one id and it's actually an integer so we can convert it to a string like so error somewhere error somewhere error go uh, a value of type now can be assigned to a parameter of type y y y uh, data id dot string why is it why what makes them think that this stuff is going to be no okay sorry sorry i need to remove this const constructor that const value there save it and we should see all the ids 35 45 55 65 and those are all the ids awesome so guys we have seen how to uh view display items uh using graphql and with provider so if you want to know how to navigate to the next page click on it create a constructor i actually created some videos concerning that uh in, just check my channels you're going to see that i also try and see if i can add most of the link on the description below so guys this is it and thank you so much for watching and in the last video the next video we are going to uh, see how to delete each of these to do item by clicking on this button yeah thank you so much for watching